Okay, today we're going to go over uh, the four speaker model Goose Getter e caller. Uh, I bought this off eBay um, directly from Goose Getter. I've been really happy with the service. Uh, and I bought it with two speakers that came with it with a 50 foot of cord. And then I ended up buying another extra one with 50 foot of cord. And then I actually took this from the local ball field, uh, baseball field, and I had another 50 foot of cord uh, from Goose Getter. So. Um, the jacks just plug right in to the front here. There's four of them. They plug right in there. Very simple. Uh, works very nice. Uh, we'll open up the box here. It's very lightweight. Um, works. I mean, I've killed a lot of geese with this this year. Been very happy with it. Very simple. It's a waterproof box. Um, and here is Dave's number uh, for Goose Getter. Um, this is a Magnum e-caller. Uh, there's his number there if you're looking to buy one of these. Uh, been very, very happy with this. Um, we'll kind of show you all that's in this box. I know it's kind of a mess now, but it's right in the middle of hunting season. Um, so you have... Okay. Here's the amp. Um, it can be turned on. Uh, you have to plug this in. This battery here is not included. I bought two of these off of eBay for like 40 bucks, I think, and it came with a 12 volt charger for these. Um, a lot of questions I had before I bought this e collar was, would it run all day? You know, seven in the morning till seven at night, or seven in the morning till eight at night. You know, those days you're killing migrators all day, and two feed runs, one in the morning, one in the evening. Uh, you don't want it to die out on you. Um, when I first got this, I charged the battery for about two and a half days straight um, and took it out hunting and uh, charged my backup battery also. And I just hunted three days in a row, uh, pretty much the first day, basically all day, and then the, the other two days, you know, morning hunts, and uh, the battery never died on me. Um, and I charged it the next couple of days. And it's good enough for me. I mean, it'll run all day. And I'm not so sure it probably wouldn't run two days in a row, uh, full days. So it's been really good. Um, it's a 12-volt battery. Uh, slides in here real nice. Fits real perfect in here. Um, I've been very happy with that. So then obviously you just put the positive on the positive, negative on the negative there. And we'll hook it up here. Okay, now... This is an auxiliary cable. Um, if you want to run the sounds off of like a MP3, your phone, uh, if you want to play music, you know, during the slow time during lunch when you're picking up, setting up decoys, um, whatever, you can run auxiliary cord plugs into the back of the amp. Um, or the way I run it, it's going to come with an SD card. This is a different SD card that I bought. It's a little higher quality. Um, it comes with six tracks from Goose Getter. And I just saved the files onto my desktop, moved over this this uh, SD card, and I just keep it in this little case. It slides right inside here. And uh, this also comes with a USB uh, jump drive. And you can run the jump drive or SD card, like I said, is my favorite. <coughs> and then it's all, re it's all remote controlled, or you can turn it on on the volume. You can just turn it until it turns on. But I like to run it with the on-off control here. And it comes with two of them, which is really handy. And it comes with a lanyard. And this is for my vortex. I just put it on there too. But, okay, say you're out the edge of the spread, taking a leak, doing whatever, and you see some geese coming, your buddies are yelling. All you have to do to turn that e-collar on is push the on. As you see, it takes a little bit to warm up. And then... Since I don't have the speakers plugged in, but you right now you would be hearing a track. Go ahead and plug one in real fast. Low setting. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, here we go. Okay. And then the way this you can turn it on, you can either turn it on by turning this volume all the way over to on and you'll hear a click and it'll turn on. But the way I like to run it is always have that on and use my remote in case you're out of the spread 
and geese start coming. So you got your on off button, push the on. It'll take a little bit for that motor to the, for the amp to warm up and then it'll go as you can hear. And this is just one speaker, very low. Um, my favorite track is track two. Uh, there's some, you know, it's kind of more of a bigger group feeding. There's some single, single tracks, uh, you know, if you've got a bird hanging up above you. But I really like track two. That's what I've been running basically all season. Ran it all day today, shot 112. Uh, worked great. So when you want to shut off, you just push it off. And that'll clear it there. Um, you'll also get... He'll send you two of these remotes, and uh, you know you can put it on repeat. But these remotes have to be pointed right at the amp to work. These remotes you can be anywhere in the spread with the box closed; doesn't matter. You push on, it's going to turn on as long as you're within you know a reasonable distance. Uh, I I can be at the end of our spread and turn it on, and it's going to turn on. You shut it off, it shuts off immediately. So. Overall, I've been very happy. This is a four-speaker model. Gets as loud as you want it. And uh, very, very slick, you know, setup. Very convenient with this SD card. Don't have to worry about an iPod or, uh, you know, MP3 player's battery dying. So I think you should give Goose Gator, call, or give Goose Gator Calls a look. Um, here's the number again. You can find them on eBay. Uh, I'm sure Goose Gator has a website. But uh, I've been very happy with this. Hope you enjoy it.